Welcome Libra. This is Renee and welcome back. Libra, this is your reading. Welcome. And we're going to take a look at the cards, see what's coming out. And if this reading resonates, like and subscribe, share. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Okay, let's see what energy is coming out for Virgo. What energies do we have for Virgo, please? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you may need help in a situation. You know, there may be something that... Maybe you're going through some kind of reconciliation or kind of seeking a reconciliation. Someone from the past is coming back in. And you're really seeking guidance and help. I feel like there's someone close to you who wants to be that shoulder to lean on, who wants to help you with some kind of advice, you know, be that shoulder that you need to uh, offer some sort of su support, right? So let's take a look at more energy for Libra. Messages for Libra, please. These guys just do not want to come out. Let's see, we have Indigo and Crystal Children. Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children in particular. You can help children who are sensitive. So you may be in, the, in a career where you work with children. You may be a teacher. Uh, you may have children of your own who... You know, you nurture. Um, but I feel like you're working very closely with children, right? We also have prosperity. So Archangel Ariel, uh, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. So there's something that's coming that's going to be very prosperous as well. Something that you're doing. Maybe it is working with children that's going to bring you into prosperity. Maybe you're going to be opening a business to help children. Or you are um, opening a daycare or school. Something like that, right? So, more messages for... Ver uh, for <sighs> more messages for Leo okay we have the clock so I feel like time is of the essence right there there's some kind of message of time really getting away from you um, very interesting tell me what that means to you Libra why am I getting time is getting away from you there's some emphasis on time. Okay. We also have at the bottom a deep knowing. Right. So I feel like there's something that you're trying to get insight on. Um, you're looking for answers in a situation. Okay. Let's get some messages for Libra. Messages for Libra, please. Messages for Libra. What does Libra need to know at this time? Give me their current energy, please. This one. The Emperor. Wow. Taking control. You're very powerful. I feel like you really don't realize how powerful you are, Libra. But you're standing in your power right now, right? Give me the past. The devil. And the nine of swords. Okay, I feel like there was something holding you back, Libra. There was, there. it could be a Capricorn. When I see the devil, I see Capricorn, you know? Don't bite me for it, but that's what I see. Um, but it could be... Something that you're leaving behind. 
some kind of negative energy, something that was holding you back, something that put a lot of fear in you. You were very doubtful. But I feel like you're coming out of that situation. You're feeling your true power. You know, something that was holding you back. Maybe you were battling addiction and you didn't really see a way out. Or you were in this toxic relationship and you were tr really trying to find your way, right? Um, but I feel like you're in your power, Libra. Okay, we have, look at this, the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Knight of Cups. Definitely. Definitely. Well, you're definitely moving out of this feeling of being unfulfilled. <laughs> and definitely, you're not being bored at this time at all. Um, you're looking for a lot of happiness. You're finally in your power, Libra. This is beautiful energy. You're in your power. Things are changing for the better. You know, your luck is changing. You've hit a turning point. You know, there's a lot of happy things ahead for you. You know, there's even this offer. Someone's actually giving you some kind of offer. This could be love or a job, right? But I feel like it's an offer that you won't want to refuse. This is a very good offer, very solid, you know? And I feel like if this is love, wow. If this is a job, it's a very good job, right? Um, so give me more messages. Tell me more about this devil energy and the nine of swords. What was holding Libra back? Tell me more about this energy. What was this energy about? The high priestess. But the high priestess is in reverse. Someone was doing a lot of lying. They were making you feel like you couldn't trust yourself. You couldn't trust your abilities. You just couldn't find their way without them. Right? Um, like you couldn't trust yourself. Wow, yeah, this is a toxic relationship. You're moving out of this toxicity. Someone was holding you back with a lot of lies, with a lot of control. They were using their words to control you, okay? And they were using some other things against you as well. Um, they were maybe using the justice system on their side. Or they were holding you back with the fear of that they were going to bring something against you. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is very toxic energy. This is someone who is really holding you back, who is not for you at all. Not for you at all. But I feel like you're leaving that situation, Libra. You're finding your power. Okay? You're finally finding your power. You're finding your happiness. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this spirit. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. The Three of Swords. And the Knight of Wands. At the bottom we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's a new beginning here. There's something very solid, very stable. There's something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And it may also increase your uh, finances as well. Um, but I feel like this is something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. The Pinnacles isn't always about material gain. It's also about good health, good family. You know, those those earthly things that we really hold very high you know family love finance okay so I, I feel like this new beginning 
is going to be a very solid new beginning for you. Very stable. Okay, but it is a new beginning. It is something that's going to bring you balance. Bring you awareness. Um, you have the Six of Pentacles here. So I definitely feel like this is fair. Someone's being very fair to you. They're looking for your best your best outcome and they're giving you this ease to relax okay and just take care of yourself it's like you know I'll help you with this situation I've got you you know focus on yourself and what you need because I got everything else handled you know that's the energy that I'm getting from this six of Pentacles energy it's very fair okay and we have the the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, yeah, you are going through some kind of mending, healing from heartbreak. There's a lot of healing that you're going through. And I feel like you're able to take action of this. You may actually need to go on a new journey to actually leave this situation. Okay? Because I, I feel like... You know, this Knight of Wands, they're going on a journey. They're looking for something different. Okay, they may be actually traveling to get away from this heartbreak. Right? Um, or someone may be flying to you. Yeah, because this Knight of Wands, they're flying straight for the Three of Swords. So it's someone who's coming to you. Someone, someone is traveling to bring you comfort. Right? Someone's taking action. Okay? Tell me about this Emperor card. Tell me more about this Emperor. Tell me more about this Emperor, please. The Hierophants. Yeah, you, you have God on your side. Okay. Um, I feel like that's where your power is. Looking to your spiritual side. Okay. I feel like that's why you feel like you're more in control. You're more stable. Uh, you're more powerful. Because you're looking within, Libra. You are gaining your power through your spirituality, through good counsel, right? And, and I feel like that's where your, your power lies, is through your spirit, okay? That may also where you find true love. You may also find true love that is delivered by God. Okay, because there's the Two of Cups here. There's someone coming in that you're not aware of that is going to make everything feel all right. Okay, so let's get some... Let's get an outcome for Libra. Let's get an outcome for Libra. What can Libra expect? A lot of hard work. Yeah, it's going to take hard work to get through this situation. And I feel like someone is also doing their best to change your mind. Right? With this Seven of Pentacles. I feel like someone has put in a lot of work with you. And they feel like they're only walking away with nothing. So they feel like, it, 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 was it worth the effort? You know? Was it worth putting in this time, this space, this energy? Um, but they really want more than what they've taken. So I feel like with this person, with this negative energy here, Libra, be careful because they want more. They want more than what you have given them. Okay? Um, so be wise to that. Because this person isn't done yet. They want more from you. Okay? We have the Three of Wands. So I feel like there's something very important that you've been waiting for that you can finally see coming in, that you can finally see coming through. 
Um, I can also see that this is you like anticipating something good coming around, right? You kind of feel deep down in your bones that there's something good that's going to come out of this. Like something good is just around the corner, right? We also have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're trying to figure out what's important and what really matters to you. And I feel like you're using your intuition. Your intuition is very high at this time, Libra. So I feel like following that inner voice is going to be very uh, important for you. To follow that inner voice and to um, focus on trusting yourself. I feel like somewhere along the way you kind of lost that. Right? But I feel like you're very persistent. You're not giving up. You're protecting your energy with this Four of Pentacles. You're protecting yourself here. You know, but you're definitely not giving up. Okay? Um, and I feel like we have the Queen of Wands. Excuse me. The Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So these are counterparts. This may be the Two of Cups energy that maybe you really don't realize that it, that's coming, that's coming out of this very divine time, you know. But I feel like you, this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups are being drawn together, okay. This hasn't happened. This is in the future energy. So this is somewhere in the near future, but I feel like this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups are being drawn together, you know? Um, so that's very interesting. Very interesting. And you may be being drawn together by your healing, but I feel like it's a blessing. This is a blessed union. You know, something divinely created, right? Very interesting. Okay. Tell me, give me a timeline. I want to know more about this. Give me a timeline for Libra. Give me a timeline, please. Give yourself more self love. Once that happens, then within a year. Wow. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get your get some angel cards for Libra. What do we have for Libra, please? We have red passion survival. You know, so I, I feel like there's been times when you felt very passionate about things, but you've also felt like you were meant to survive through these difficult situations. And th there's a reason why. Okay, we have past life gifts and review. So you may be looking back on your life and really seeing um, maybe where you went wrong, where you went right, right? Um, but there could also be someone from your past life who is offering you the gift of review, right? Kind of giving you this playback. Kind of like... The spirits of Christmas, right? Where we get a visit from the past, future, and um, present. But I feel like it kind of... It puts you in this mode of knowing, Libra. Knowing exactly what you want out of life. Knowing where you went wrong in certain situations, where you went right. 
You know, I, I don't mean to be so deep. Forgive me. Kind of all over the place, Libra. Okay, let's get a monology card. Let's get a monology card for Libra. Okay, we have don't let your pride get in the way. Leo energy. Okay, so don't be profi... I'm sorry, Libra, I cannot talk. Don't be prideful, right? And we have conclusions are within reach. So you're going to get a full understanding of why things are going the way they are, um, where you're at, where you're going. But I feel like it's more on a spiritual level. Right, Libra? Uh, and I feel like that's where you're finding your power is through your spirituality. So if you feel like you need to, dive deeper into your spirituality. You know, connect as one. Right? Um, give me an angel number for Libra. We have one, two, three, four, persistence. Right? Keep going. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you and that all of your persistence is paying off. You are being acknowledged. Okay, your affirmation. I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey and I reap the rewards of my persistence. Okay, okay, Libra, that's your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more right now. Okay? And I hope this reading helps you, Libra. And many, many kisses, many blessings. Until your next reading, love and light.